This brief video will teach you how to enable, configure and use web client on your Simplify Server v6. First and foremost, you have to make sure your license includes web client. For this video we'll use an ultimate license which comes with web client built in, but you can also buy it as an optional add-on to Simplify Server Basic or Professional. As of version 6, web client is no longer an external product, instead it's become a protocol handler, and as such you will need to configure its binding first. Being designed to run in a browser, the web client protocol handler implements the HTTPS protocol, so let's create an HTTPS binding. Don't forget to save the changes you just made to your virtual site. As expected, changes to the bindings can only become effective upon restart of the virtual site, so let's stop it and then start it again. Now that we have a valid HTTPS binding, let's head over to your virtual site's admin UI to configure its behavior. If this is the first time you are configuring web client, you may want to configure some of the common set and forget parameters. Some settings are just cosmetic, like the logo and disclaimer, some are functional like the size limits, and some require a deep level of expertise like the TLS cipher suites, cores, and other security settings. Please make sure you educate yourself about how to operate a web server and its typical security concepts, this is no different. Now that's out of the way, we can move on to the more traditional parts of the configuration. First we'll need a VFS. Let's just create a simple VFS that points to a directory on our disk. Now that our VFS is ready, let's go and create our first user account, and make sure we give them the permissions they need to use web client. For the sake of this tutorial we'll create a test user of type normal, and we will set a password for it. The interesting stuff happens on step number 3 of the user creation wizard. That's where we select which subsystems, or protocol handlers, this user has permission to use. If we want them to use web client we will have to select the HTTPS subsystem. If we also want to grant them permission to share files and folders with third parties via web client we will also select the HTTPS sharing subsystem. Everything is ready. Now let's point our browser to whichever port we selected for web client in our bindings and see if it works. Let's log in with the username and password of the user we just created. Being now a fully integrated protocol handler and subsystem of Simplify Server, the new web client also have functions that allow a user to edit their own profile, change their password, and even enable two-factor authentication if they so wish. We client's file manager has all the typical functions you would expect in a web-based file management interface. Depending on the user's permissions you can create folders, upload files, download individual files or even many files at once as a single zip archive. This part of the video showcases some of the mentioned file management functions. One of the most interesting features of the new web client is its ability to share objects, files and folders, with third parties in a very controlled way. For each shared object you can set an expiration date, whether or not it should be read only for the receiving party, whether or not you want to publish the information about the user who shared the object, set a description, define how many times this object should be accessed before lockout, protect it with a password, and even set IP restrictions if you need them. Once the object is shared you will receive a link that you can send to the intended recipient, so that they can use it to access the object you shared with them. Let's see how it works. 
just paste the link in a browser and since the object was password protected you'll have to type a password to unlock it first. And here you go. You now have access to the folder that was shared with you, and you're locked inside of it so you cannot access any other location on the server, it's totally secure. And here too you can download individual files, or several files at once as a single zip archive. We hope you found this video interesting, please come visit us at simplify.me.